<laughs> you know how they say that like Facebook uh, and, and other social media platforms, they, they curate your right. feed according to your taste. Of course. But sometimes there's always these incendiary stories that find themselves on my feed and they're meant to agitate and uh, anger me. Yes. And you know what's happening? What? Those ads are usually bought by Russians. Uh, 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 and that brings us to today's Big, big Deal. deal. Today, we are making a big deal about Russia and Facebook and hacking and all their digital muckraking. While Facebook has yet to release specifics about the hyper-political ads bought by Russia during the 2016 election, we do know they've been hell-bent on stirring up trouble among the extremes. From starting Black Lives Matter Facebook groups and sharing incendiary posts about police brutality to helping organize alt-right rallies and protests. These Russian clickbait farms are trying to fire up people who are on political and social extremes to make us feel like a divided country. And that's where we can look if we want to find hope. Because maybe if there's anything we can learn from this, it's that Democrats and Republicans, Black Lives Matter activists and police, SJWs and all right trolls, just hung out a little bit offline where there are no Russian trolls to escalate division, we might have more in common than we think. So remember, the next time you see something online that makes you want to hate someone on the other side, ask yourself, could it be Russian instigation? So, because I've noticed that in the past, but like, what have you know, noticed in the past? Like, some some ads there are not absolutely not of my interest. Well, which no, is weird. Also, there's also a lot of fake news that they put on. Okay, so here's what's happening. Let's backtrack. Let me educate a little Rewind. bit. Rewind. Okay. Well, we we understand that the We're Russians have been trying to. Um, you know, some people use the word influence. Some people you say corrupt. Some people just say mess with. Uh, the American political process, right? right? There's the investigation into the Trump collusion, but now they are understanding that Russians are getting involved in almost everything. <laughs> but these Facebook ads, they were happening before and after, and especially since the election, where they're actually getting ads, or, or they have uh, fake stories or trolls okay. that write incendiary stuff on both sides. So they'll have like a fake account that's like a Black Lives Matter account, but it's not a real Black Lives right. Matter account. It's some, fake so, news. Yeah, and they're, and they're pumping out all these things that'll anger like a white Republican. And the white Republican will say, on their feed. Right. Then they'll get uh, a troll to uh, mimic an alt-right uh, uh, white nationalist type to troll and to put up fake news that'll anger people on the left and just to mess with us and to get us to fight amongst each it's other. It's amazing too how good they are at mimicking. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I think, oh, you know, Russians, they don't know a lot about our culture, but they've right. really done research and they know exactly how to fake these posts and it's very impressive. I've got to say a lot of the examples, I'm like, that. I wouldn't think that that's a hacker. I would think that that's someone just who really thinks that, you know? Plain old America. It's the Russians. So. Well, like, I'll give you an example. Like, on top of, uh, they had these farms that would curate these fake news farms? stories, right? Farms? Uh, farms, just basically a bunch of computer geeks so putting geeks their... a bunch of geeks in yeah. a random... In empty. Russia. Yeah, not a, a real farm. Yeah. Yes, they have these in all over the place, too. <laughs> like they have an empty house, farm. you know, oh, just okay. like sleeping on air mattresses. Okay, don't get hooked on the word farm. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is yeah. this? It's the zoo. The We're in the zoo, so we got it. It's like a hostel of, like, computer geeks. And they're, like, for instance, they had one account that was linked to somebody in the Kremlin that was um, the profile of a black lady, an African-American uh -huh. woman, the name Crystal One Johnson on Twitter. Okay. And she would tweet all this stuff that would anger like Republicans. Right. Yeah. Well, it turns out that there was somebody in the Kremlin doing mm. that to get, same thing, they'll have like some white nationalist southern, you know, hillbilly saying all these things about Hillary Clinton and people are getting all upset and it's, right. it turns out it's not some actual guy, it's somebody in Russia. And here's my question to you guys. What does it say about our culture that Russia is trying to mess with our democracy by attacking our social media sensitivities? It's super simple. Well, That's it. Like, if yeah. you divide people, you're always going to get ahead. Porque well, la unión hace la fuerza. So if, if a society stands together to something, like, it's really hard to go against them. And if you divide them, it's going to be good. So they're making it really smart. Does this have... Anything to do with the technological war? We're like, or no. well, no, it, it's because there's also fake followers going on. And that too, that kind of yeah. stuff. That too. Well, they have bots and fake followers. I think that one other story I read was one of these, the Republican um, candidate for some seat down in the South. I forget what state. If you guys can help me in the control room, the guy Moore, his last name is Moore. He took out a gun. What? And he won the primary. He took out a gun in the middle of uh, you know some press conference and and, and rally and and said I'm for you know the Second Amendment. Um, all these Russian bots uh -huh. started following him to make to make him have an increased followership. His name is Roy Bo uh, Moore from Alabama. Alabama. And all these Russian uh, bot profiles started following him to give him a lot of full profiles because they're like, that guy's incendiary. He's divisive. <laughs> Let's, Let's make him. sure. It's yeah. a real shame that obviously, you know, these Crazy. Russian bots are influencing people on social media. And the people on social media, and it happens all the time with all these apps, you know, they actually believe all of this right. fake news being put out there. That's one. Two, I'm like, 
who is getting all these stories? Because I sure as heck did not really see any of those stories. I was well, probably seeing entertainment news. they know that you don't believe news. anything. So, by the way, you're very apolitical, <laughs> and they know that you, you don't get mad. Why? You know what it is? You, you don't, don't get mad. You don't get the Kardashian story. <laughs> yeah, he gets the Kardashian story. <laughs> they were in Russia. <laughs> Actually, those are Russian. Not here's, Russian. Here's one thing, the, you know, um, our co-producer, Andres, behind the scenes, we have conversations, and he made this point. I don't know that I agree with this, but it's a valid point. He goes, what if we're not really that divided in this country? Mm. It's just a bunch of Russian bots. It Every time be. we think uh, there's a big fight on social media that's happening, and people are just slamming each other, it's really just a bunch of Russian bots. We're really not that divided. It's nice to think about. But not a big argument is like you know they're putting Facebook and Twitter under the loop because I think they want to see I want them I, I, not I want them but they want um, those companies to really find out the source of these different companies that are advertising on their websites correct well yeah but you know one of the things I'm afraid of is that now Facebook YouTube Google they're gonna start censoring they already are well, yeah, and, 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 and I'm, I'm nervous. The I'm nervous about them overreaching and yes, yeah, censoring out the fake news, but then censoring out things that aren't fake news. Right. Censoring out opinions that are valid, but they right. think are incendiary, so they're gonna curtail that. I'm worried about that. Well, because and I'm being... worried more. Sorry about like Russia's agenda, because what's really the oh, well, their whole... agenda is to divide us. What for? I mean, that's the real question. For the what invasion. are they planning? Well, well the... I think I think. Uh, Putin sees Trump as as weak. You know what I mean? Yeah, like totally. the, it's like Obama. This didn't happen under Obama because Obama had control of the country and it was like Easy. pretty. You know what I mean? And now Putin's like, oh, this guy is a joke, and and he feels more powerful than him. That he can do whatever he wants. He's, well, who's he's, more he's, he's, playing, he's playing Trump. Yeah. I mean, Putin definitely. I think that they definitely laugh at Trump behind closed doors and they go, this guy thinks we're friends. Yeah. So anyway, well, good it's job. really dangerous. However, guys, watch what you read and don't believe everything I you agree. hear, except Please here on don't. the Zoom.